<gasps> Spoilers! Halt! Well, well! It would appear that it is time once again for our favourite video game. One of. One of many. And I realised that I uh, forgot to unmute the loud one. Let me try that again. It's Spyro time! Oh yes. Spyro time again. It's that time of week. Before the working week begins again, this is a good way to finish it off, I think. Look at that, we're already 16% of the way through. This is going very well. A voice from above, sugar coated with love, said let it begin. So last time, we... Oh, crap, I've not forgotten my water, have I? Oh, no. I think I forgot my water. I may have to go and get it in a bit. Uh, I have an, uh, yeah, I have an idea of where it is. Uh, but it's fine. We'll deal for now. I'll just try not to talk too much. So last time, where were we? We were at the beach. I'm trying to get the audio levels on my headphones right. It's slightly tricky. Oh, oh yeah, we uh, managed to avoid talking to Zoe before, didn't we? But we know what we're doing. The uh, button doesn't quite work properly, so I've had to sort of transpose them. Except, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it does work in the wrong direction, which is a bit bizarre. Yes, good. Good, good, good. So, yeah, there was that um, life up there that we still haven't worked out how to get to. I hope that doesn't count towards the 100% tally, but if it does, um, then we'll have to work out how to get it, but I don't think it will. So, yeah, we've completed this home world. We're just, uh, what I was going to do is go to back to Seashell Shore, do a couple of the mini games there, or rather the one mini game that's left. And then go and face off against the first boss. And what we'll do is we'll come back to Sunrise Spring later on. So if we just go backwards here, it should, uh, should be a bit quicker. Pardon me, Mac. Obviously there's going to be a lot of gems and stuff that we've missed. Whoops, wrong hole. Hang on. There we are. That's, uh, it's that one. It's the big one. Ugh. Right. I will spawn you as well. I cannot see the chat at all. Wow, what is Spyro doing? There's proper flicker in there. Uh, but I am pretty sure that I've set up the streaming software properly this time. Bluto! Hmm. What's KP? What do you say? Do you want to take on Bluto? I have to question what they were going to do if Spyro didn't show up at this exact moment. Let's do it. Okay. Speed ver speedboat versus nuclear sub. Uh, okay, sharp end. Got it. So this one was quite difficult back in the day. Oh yeah, you've got to pick up ammo. Yeah, I remember that much. Ugh. The ammo is strangely thin on the uh, the little icon there at the bottom right. So you can. It's this kind of like a mini boss battle, isn't it? Oh yeah, you literally just have to shoot it. Okay. Menacing. Phew. I really need to get some ammo at some stage. Of course, he's going to eat it all, isn't he? Oh, he, uh, yeah, I believe he goes and picks ammo. So he's a little bit like the Ripto fight. Oh, God. Does he just eat the ammo so I can't have it? Yeah, I think he does, yeah. But it also leaves him open for attack. Well done. Don't tell me I'm going to do it the first time again. Yeah. Maybe I've jinxed it by saying that. So how many speedboats have flipping gigantic rocket cannons on the front? 
And how many submarines are literally giant mechanical sharks? Yeah, that's right. Leave yourself open! Ah! Did I just blow up that ammo myself then? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he fixes it. Cheat. You're going to have to get a shift on if you're going to fix it again. Wow. Okay. Straight in. <laughs> what? Oh, hang on. You're purple. Uh, bear with me a second. I just realised I can open the chat on my phone like I did last time. What a dum-dum. So where are we? Uh... Yeah, chat. Alright, good. We're in. Right, good stuff. My A button feels a bit sticky. Which is a bit strange. Oh, sorry, X button. Oh! Glitch in the matrix. Oh yeah, we established last time that the seals don't have any hurt animation. Which, I suppose, makes sense. In a way. I think it was a bit daft of them to put a load of gems here, but it's kind of nice being able to sort of explore this arena after you've done the minigame. I'm just impressed that I was able to do it the first time, because all all these flipping minigames, I've never ever done them first time round, especially that one with the tunnel that I said was extremely difficult last time and uh, turned out not to be. Anyway, let's just mop up here and then we'll move right along. We'll go and uh, beat up Buzz, is it? We'll find out. I keep getting Buzz and Spike mixed up and I can't remember what the third boss is called. Right, that's... Is that all of them? I believe so. Good stuff. So, let's... Let's go. Oh, no, it wasn't all of them. Come on. Hey... So, how many? I'm just curious how many gems I'm missing. I'll come back and. Uh, oh! There's another egg to find. Okay, we'll come back for that one. But there's 15 more gems. Presumably they are to be found in this secret cave. I don't remember any secret cave. That's going to be cool. So, there's actually eggs in here that I didn't get when I was little. Wow! Although it does. It rings a bell, but at the same time. I can't immediately think where it is. So, we will have to look for it. Which kind of makes sense if you think about it, because what would be the point of 100% run without a little bit of challenge? Hop to the secret cave. Well, yeah, like I said, we'll come back to it. There is no rush, apart from the uh, Canadian rock band, but I make that joke far too often. Yeah, let's just leave Whee. delicious treasure give it all to me and then after this boss battle I will go and get my drink that I forgot to take to bring in with me well done hooray yeah we talked to this lot already so we don't need to do it again Whee. Let's go to Midday Gardens, which uh, I believe is my favourite hub world in the game. Blanca strikes back. Infernal. Is her staff got a dragon egg on the end of it? So she's been your apprentice all this time and you've not even given her a spell book. Oh. oh, look. 
Wow, menacing. Still not terribly menacing. <laughs> I bet that was an entertaining uh, recording session, just recording that. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Again, this is a bit like part of the Ripto battle, extrapolated. How did you get here quicker than me? <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Right. I don't think you can directly damage you, however... Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Into the lava with you and then she like go on. BAM! said the lady. And then he does this business. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Oh. Oh, that's unfair. Well, whatever. Yeah, I think the trick here is just to make sure he stops near the edge of the arena. Hey! Did Sheila just flipping get in the way then? Chuff me. Can't get the staff these days. This time I should maybe... Oh yeah, there was that business as well. Come on, oh! Oh, I thought... <laughs> wow, brilliant. I've never seen that happen before. You're sort of below the uh, arena then. Brilliant. Whee! Sheila, get out of the way! Oh, brilliant. Well, that was... Uh... Is he dead yet? No. This is... Uh... Oh! Oh. Down. Oh. Oh. Damn it. All right. This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. That's fine. Again, we don't want it to just be super easy. Easy fun time, do we? Because that's just boring. What is this arena made of, by the way, that is not sinking into the lava? Oh, oh, I wonder if there's a way to get him to roll into the lava. And there he goes. Come on, you wussy green toad. I like that. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Ouch. I got slightly too close then. Fantastic. I like the portrait at the bottom right, by the way. They've even animated it blinking. Which is a nice touch. We like nice touches in video games. Think you're so goddamn clever? Oh, damn it. <sighs> there we are. Let's not make the same mistake again. Oy! I forgot the sneeze. Here we go. Yeah. Cut him off. Ha! And way! Oh, 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 oh! Oof! Boom! And here we go. Slam. Bye. That was uh, a bit depressing. <laughs> Yay! Imagination. Into the balloon. Leave Sheila. <laughs> Bye, Sheila. I like how it tells you that you've not got any treasure. Thank you. And into Midday Garden. With the extremely smooth music. Mm.
Here we go. Round two of Sorceress's Apprentice. Ha! But you haven't the slightest idea what sort of dangers lie ahead of you. I suggest you grab your cat friend and whatever eggs you found and hightail it back home while you still can. I'm telling you this for your own good, you know. Evidently you didn't see the events of the previous game, thank you very much. Because everything that was thrown at me in that one has been infinitely more deadly than what we've had thus far. Although that may be because of previous experience. Rabbits, for example. Come on Sparks, get your act together. So I suspect that because we've just defeated but hang on, let's just make sure. Who was it? Who was it that we just fought? Buzz, yeah that was it. Dungeon, it's hardly a dungeon is it? Come on. By the way, Eggs Benedict. There we are. Dave. I hope Dave. How's that doing? <sighs> I wonder what these weird bottles are. They do they do look a lot like champagne bottles. Are they a common thing in uh, deep sea diving? I just don't know about it. Right, where, where, where to start? Where to start? That's a good question. We've got a whole new set of levels to explore. Now, I guess I start with my least favourite level in this, um, in this world, and that would be well. Let's go and find it. Uh, let's grab some gems. Move. Might as well catch this guy while we're at it. You see, this guy's nice and predictable. But if you get too far ahead of him, then, uh, yeah, they just switch direction instantly. <sighs> Good grief. You can't. Oh, he's cheeky, this one, isn't he? Here we go. Here we go. Boom! Fantastic. We never did work out what the uh, dragon eggs in the first game were for, did we? Ah, look, there's something there. Here's Hunter, even though it was actually over in that direction as well. Um. Might as well just have a wander around before we get into anything. So we've got a... Uh, what was that up there? Oh, that's... They're all open already. I'm quite impressed. Aha, uh -huh, look, there's the super flame. You get an egg by smashing up all them giant statues. Uh, I don't think this will be open yet. No, 36. We're not that good. Let's get this egg. Climb up. That thing that we had to pay quite a lot of money for to get in the previous game. We can just do in this one. Which makes sense. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, yeah, look, there's Hunter. Brilliant. Uh, there's another Sparks level there. We, like I was saying, I expect that's to do with having beaten the boss. So, we'll probably be able to access the one in the first hub. Sunrise Spring. Get the names right, come on. Um, but I'm not sure about that one. I could be just talking out of my bottom. Anyway. I uh, don't think there's much going on in this uh, little river here. No. Right, let's get Spooky Swamp out of the way. When you see a ladder or walls that look climbable, just jump onto it and you'll grab it with your claws. Alright. Thanks, dude. That's totally excellent, man. Should have called him Ted. And into the swamp. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 
overly keen on this level. It's a bit dark and dreary. And it's a bit all over the place. There's a lot of climbing and verticality to it. Normally not too bad, but... Doesn't really... Doesn't really hit the right button. I mean, I don't know. It's fun, it's just not the best that this game has to offer. I do appreciate that all the dialogue in this level is in haiku, though. Which is very, very good. Obviously, uh some creative genius geniuses on this team. Here we go. Let's light up the lamp house. Which is a bit strange. Why would you live in a house that's got a giant tea light in it? <laughs> this is Spyro, after all. Everything. There's a lot of uh, weird size business in this, isn't there? Ooh! What are these weird crocodile things? What about this fella? Get lost. Oh my god, I remember these weird mosquitoes with the giant noses. Look, um. Who do they look like? Yeah, you need to take a tip from uh, Rayman's friend. Oh, and there's the cute lobsters. Look at them little faces. Oh. I wonder if they did that on purpose, made the uh, small animals intentionally cute. Right. Sorry, I'm, d I'm just trying to gather up as many gems as I can. Because, as I said last time, I'd rather sort of deal with the gems as early as possible, then I don't have to deal with them later. I can imagine there'd be a bit of, pain, bit of a pain in the ass to sort of find one gem. What's going on here, then? <laughs> he was no threat at all, was he? He was just coming up to say hi. Nope. Oh, we've got a locked chest thing there. Interesting, so we're going to have to search for that key somewhere. Have a feeling I... Well, I was going to say I have a feeling I know where it is, but then in my mind was a picture of the swamp, and it all kind of looks the same. No gems in them, so I don't need to worry about that. They're just chasing each other. This i got to see. No, they gave up. Get lost. Oh, by the way, you can't go in the water either because you get nobbled by piranhas. Yes, indeed. But here we go, here's Michael. Hey, up. Poor fella. Imagine being a dragon with buck teeth. That's got to be the worst fate. Alright. On we go. Really not a whole lot more to say. Uh, come on, something interesting happened. Oh, is there something down there? Well, there can't, there can't be anything in the water because it looks like there's something there, but it might be uh, just a bug. Bugged bit of geometry. Because, like I say, I'm running this on uh, Mednafen, which is an emulator designed to be accurate. It's a little bit like High Gun is for the SNES. But, of course, for the PS1 instead. So, any irregularities in the original code will show up by design. I think I missed a lamp... Ah! Ooh, that was close. I missed a lamp house. These are very awkwardly situated, aren't they? Like you've got a half a bridge and then a, a house right in front of it. This don't like much of the uh, geometry in this game, for lack of a better architecture, maybe. Oh, sorry. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, <laughs> especially for the people who live here. We've got our mosquito friend. Who does he look like? He looks like some ca character from a comic or something. I can't think who. These things are hilarious. Right, there's a snag up there. I do believe you have to go... S oh. Hmm. Actually, how do you get up there? Let's see if we can find out. Hmm. 
Ah, yeah, look, I think you have to be on that side and sort of jump out of that. Right, that makes sense. So, yeah, we need to go and uh, speak to our old bear friend. Spyro! <laughs> he sounds so done, doesn't he? <laughs> what happens if I say this? Dad, go meet dragon. Just cough up those stinking gems and I can go home. <laughs> oh, yes. They've really put effort in here. Yeah, we've heard it. We've heard it all. You've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro, I can stop speaking haiku. What a sweet relief. <laughs> I always remember that bit. Does he say the same thing? Stop talking to me. I hate speaking in haiku. Let's go find some gems. <laughs> oh, good stuff. You'd think he would have been reprimanded and sacked or killed or something by the sorceress by now. But he's probably bribed his way back about it, hasn't he? That's maybe what he spends all the gems on, briberies, but then he needs more gems to do more briberies. You'd think he would just sort of stay out of this business altogether. Hey! I saw that. Cheeky blinking fat old crocodile. Oh, no you don't. Hi. You are brave, dragon. Much braver than I by far. Here, take this down egg. <laughs> they just don't bother, do they? Thelonious Monk, gonna play some jazz. Wow, he looked a bit like he was proper done. There's something in here. Oh, maybe it's around the other side. Yeah, there it is, look. I'll talk to him in a second. We have a mission. Also, look at this weird water. What's going on there? Did they miss a texture or something? Look at that. It's like, it's like Minecraft. Speaking of Minecraft, ooh, that's gonna be fun. Hey, there we are, look. The door is open. Oh, you don't get an egg just for doing that, that's a shame. No, you have to do a lot of other stuff. Right, I remember the, there is a Sheila level, I don't know if you saw it before, damn it. Where am I? Um, uh. Maybe if I'm quick about it, I can get over there. Ah! Well... <laughs> After a fashion. Let's try that again and not go the wrong way this time. So, over here, up onto the tree. Oh, there we go, look, up onto the other tree. Can I make it that far? Hey, that one gem, wow. Worth it. Good grief. See what I mean? That's the sort of gem that would be ridiculously difficult to find if you didn't get it the first time round. Right, I uh, probably won't be able to make it back that way, will I? However, ah, I can see where the key is. Bam. Nobody liked him anyway. Right, I'm gonna go through this again because I saw the key. It was on a another tree top. Which reminds me a little bit of one of the levels from Spyro 1. I think that was called Tree Tops, wasn't it? The unimaginative names of the Spyro levels. Here we go! Yay! Right, where was the safe? Now it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Where? It's a shame the safe doesn't contain an egg. You'd think that would be a good place to put it, wouldn't you? What? Was it under this tree? Yeah, there it is! Yay! And <laughs> is that going backwards then? Fantastic work. Eh. Right, how are we doing? I only got one. Oh no, three. Oh yeah, I got three, didn't I? Oh, I got the twins. That was it. So there's a Scott the twins one and two, and then, well, yeah, let's just get them all out of the way now because, like I said, eh, this level ain't my favourite. 
Yeah, might as well go through the water again. Quick, quick! Oh, damn it. Oh, one up. Well, that's good. I'm glad I did that now. Because one up's uh, just what I needed. Do it. A creepy wizard lives inside, but it's the life he has awoken. He swore to destroy whoever lights the Why are they all French? Better you than me. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Why don't you tell me that already? Do we do the wizard first or Sheila? I feel like the wizard is like a big boss, so let's do Sheila first. But before we start, I will go and get my drink. Brilliant. Very poetic. Right. I'll be back in a second. I just need to go and get my water. I'm back. Uh, I've just noticed that my... Uh, I seem to have dropped in a lot of frames. Oh, brilliant. eBay's just uh, pinged up. Good. Yeah, I seem to be dropping a crap ton of frames, which is weird because I'm using exactly the same settings as I was before. But we're just going to have to deal, unfortunately, because, well, I'm not sure what else I could change. And I'd have to stop the stream anyway, so, yeah, yeah we'll just have to suffer. So, here we go, look. Great. Kangaroo can help. Yes, I love your freestyle haiku. Yes, it's bombing time. Here I come, my little eggs, to free you at last. And how about the my eggs, though? Ah, right, yeah, yeah. So you have to... Ever play Crash Twin Sanity and you have to escort Cortex? I think this guy's just going to stick to the path, isn't he? Yeah, there we go, look. So these guys have survived how many bomb blasts? Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Come on, hurry up. I've got to get ahead of him. Which way is he going to go? Left. Right, this is good. Oh, where are you going now? Man, this guy's stupid. I went boom again. Rocks can be kicked, they say. Mushrooms must be stomped. Yeah, all right. Yes, it's. This could take a little while. Now you can see why I wanted to get out of the way, and you can't go forward and stomp the mushrooms in advance because if you noticed. One of them came back up, and that's the one he ran into. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Hopefully, if I stand on top of it, it stays down. Also, if they can't see five feet in front of them, how do they know that there's a kangaroo talking to them? Maybe we smash the rocks in advance. Oh, just in time, that one. There we oh, no, the rocks come back as well. What a joke. Bam. Oh, which way is he going to go, man? Oh, he can't go much further than that, surely. Where are you going, man? Why doesn't Sheila just carry the bomb? Apparently, I must have uh, drunk drunk a lot of water than I have. Will you now help my brother to freeze the last egg? Hang on. I'll just prepare my bottle so I can just sup from it as and when. Mm. That is a lot more practical than having a giant two-liter plastic bottle. It's now a giant one-liter metal bottle. Yeah, let's do it. Captive eggs. 
Come on. Same line, very good. Saved him some time on the old recording session there. Good stuff. Right, I've got to watch this guy closely because he doesn't stick to the path at all. Which means he's going to run into every stinking mushroom there is. And of course the mushrooms you have to prepare in advance, don't you? It's going to be that one. Don't run into that. No. Oh, oh he's going round here, is he? Okay, hello. Dude, can't you just go in a straight line? Oh, no, you don't! Oh. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, what was that? Ugh, dear. Padding. Sure. Well, we got it mostly, right? Ah, why did I do that? He's going to run into something? No! No, it wasn't that one, was it? It was... Oh, what? 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 It was this one that it was going to run into. There we are. That rock. You can't really do much with the camera while you're here as well, because it's locked to an overhead view. Right. So... That one. Oh, just in time, that one. Right, the little one first. Oh, so the big one was a red herring. Yeah, thanks, game. Oh, I'm sure there was a better way of doing it than that. Oh, well. Michelle Lilla. I'm still dropping a crap ton of frames. I don't really know why. Yeah, for some reason it's streaming losslessly. I will restart the stream because that's just not working out, is it? <sighs> okay, we're back. Tell you what had happened. For some reason my profile had gone back to recording mode. And I'm not really sure why. But we're back in now, so it seems to all be better. Good lord. Seems like every time I do this, something goes wrong. <sighs> Such is creative life. Oh, when Sheila smashes pots, Sparks doesn't collect it automatically. Oh dear. Can they not open that cage door for me so I can go straight to the exit? Well, I guess I need to go back on myself anyway, don't I? Well, that was annoying. But it's over now. Let's, uh Ooh. Is that going to be anything up there? Let's find out. Yeah, look. A room full of treasures. Delightful. Alright, good stuff. Oh, uh, the gem collecting bit is not very entertaining to watch, I imagine. It's very satisfying to do and to play, but, you know, the actual watching of it, not so much. However, it must be done for the glory of the 100% Spyro 3 run. Oh, what's this sound like? Shy guy. That's what. That's what it is. Oh. Can you imagine? Could have literally just gone through there and job job a beer gooden, but no. Had to go around houses, literally. All right, well that's that done. Huh. Uh. Right, what's next? 
Oh, yeah. Ugh! Oh, Captain N over here, the wizard. There he is. Morning. Nice day for fishing, ain't it? Oh, well, that went well. I mean, I think it is just a case of standing completely still and putting his bombs back in. Some wizard is. What kind of wizard uses bombs? Obviously dealing with this lot as and when as well. Or maybe standing completely still while the uh, crocodiles are coming is not the best idea because they've hit me every time thus far. Remember this being a lot harder as well. What's happened? Well, I guess I'm just an adult now. Okay, wow. Yeah, that was super easy. Man, what happened? Hey, that's all the eggs. Oh. Oh, did I get kicked out? I'm not allowed to stay in this house. Interesting. There's a uh, whirlwind there. Oh, that'll be to get from the start to the end. Useful. So there's just gems left. I wonder how many are left. About 31. In fact, exactly 31. Uh, I guess we can try and hunt for them now. I love the noise, by the way, the different footsteps, depending on the surface you're walking over. It's good. You can kind of tell gems in the distance, even though they're not rendered. You can kind of tell where they are because they sort of glitter. But then, of course, Zoe also glitters, so it's a bit of a red herring. Okay, gems, gems, gems. Where are you, my little gems? If it takes too long, then obviously I'll uh, move on. But I would like to find them now, so then we can just call this level done. They're going to be somewhere really awkward, aren't they? Squirreled away. Although I can't imagine where they'd be. Unless unless they are on the shield a bit, still. And I just missed them. You know what? I'll come back to it. Maybe I'll do it at my own time, because quite frankly... Hello there, Shadows Meadow! How goes it? Thank you for stopping by. Oh, we've got the nice long glide back to the bridge. Very good. Alright, what next? What do we do next? That is a good question. How many gems, the eggs, whatever they are, are we on? Secret ice cave and then blue. Hmm. Oh, well, I know what the blue one is. It is, in fact, let's do this. I'm doing pretty good. I'm playing Spyro 3, so, you know, can't really be doing much better. Yeah, yeah, we know about the Super Flame. We've had, have we had one before in this? I don't think we have. But uh, I believe it was an experimental thing in number two, so... This is, uh... It's like it's become mainstream. Die, rabbits! Right, where was the... Oh, God, where was the last one now? It was somewhere awkward. No doubt. Fortunately, we can just go back through. And there was also that uh, chest somewhere as well. There we are, look. It was happened to be hidden in one of those statues. Fantastic. Right. We'll get the chest later. As of right now, I reckon it's time to go and free our old friend, the penguin. Where is he? Do his level. It is a ton of fun. This is uh, the best run of the series, I think. Uh, and yes, we're going to 100% it. So you'll get to see the whole damn thing. The 
naughty bird letting off rockets in her fireworks factory. But I'm willing to release him. Sounds very Guy Foxian. Provided you pay his outstanding fine. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> what a sucker. That is, it's a far, far better thing you do today, Spyro, than you have ever done and well so forth. And now we get the cutscene. I'm not going to talk over the cutscene. What do you think this is? Nice uh, reference there. Wow. Sergeant Burns, 90068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. GBX 90 yeah. launchers, state of the art. So why didn't you use them to escape? The limited ammo and I wanted to conserve it mm -hmm. for this we didn't know you were going to do that before I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something well the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated oh yeah I want a little peace and quiet well if it's peace and quiet you want you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks cheerio we shall come and visit you in a minute Uh, on this channel we tend to stream all sorts of crazy crap. A lot of retro games, a lot of uh, obscure games, quite a lot of edutainment, and everything in between. So yeah, you never know what you're going to get. But as of right now, until we 100% this, this is going to be all we're playing for the next few weeks. So look forward to it. Okay, Sergeant Bird's base. Now, <laughs> Wow, we've barely got anything left. Good grief. All our dollars gone. I'm sure you do. Why does he have his arms stuck out all the time? Oh yes, we've got the French hummingbirds. I remember this. Hello there. Stereotypical. <laughs> Slight flipping deus ex. I mean, I'm the only one with any weaponry. I don't, I can't imagine what you did, but whatever you did, it was probably quite impressive to say that you have no guns. I have literally all the military tech in this world on my shoulders. Right, I can't remember what a square does, but I do know that you can fire your quote-unquote limited ammo. Yeah. Um, and you can fly, because penguins can fly. Indeed. Yes, well done. Oh yeah, also you, the, the way you free those guys is by sort of walking near them and then they just sort of fly off. Thank you, sir. It's quite alright. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's glass there, duh. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. Sergeant Bird is not a whole lot of fun to control, I have to say. But he's also a flying penguin with rocket launchers, so you can't complain. And these guys have little but flower pots. Down with wooden doors. Again, this... <laughs> it's such a bizarrely designed place, but I guess it makes sense this time, because everybody here can fly properly. Oh, damn it. It's also very easy to get hit. A lot easier than you might imagine. Thank you for following. That was very kind of you. I don't have the weird notification on when people follow, but maybe I should. Um, most things that happen get a little thing on the screen. But maybe, yeah. Maybe I should do the follow. It'd be a laugh, wouldn't it? Oh, God, hang on. Right, we need to get a a bomb from somewhere um, cause there's a stupid little gopher there that we have to blow up it is possible to get it with the rockets if you're quick enough but as you probably guess I ain't quick enough oh he says alright well that might save a bit of time move right ah 
rations because they won't march far on an empty stomach. Very nice. Good job, Private or Corporal, whatever you are. Maybe we could recruit this one. Got a helmet already, it's fine. Sir, the Vinox have blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. Recommend you land. Yeah, 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 shut up. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Eh. Oh, yeah, that's what Square did. Um, Metroid. Metroid's pretty good. I always get lost in Metroid, though, so I haven't played it an awful lot. Oh, God, right. Oh, yeah, you've got the whole triangle. Oh, yeah, you have to flipping. Wow. Eh. You have to wangle your hands around to do this. Square to drop. Okay, that did absolutely enough all. Well done. Come on, get up. Uh, uh, Zelda, again, not played a whole lot of it. I keep getting told to by my one of my friends. Um, that's been happening for about f like five years now, uh, and I still haven't got around to it. I keep getting told to play Ocarina of Time, and Sonic, yeah, pretty good. Mario is also very good. Basically. I like a lot of things, so it would take a while to list everything. Um, but I, my favourite genre is 3D platformers, I'll tell you that much. Where was the other weight? Was it... Um, well, I could do with knocking that down. I don't get these angel Rhinox. There we go. Is that technically on the button there? I'm not sure about that one. Oh, right, you don't have to hold triangle. Okay, I didn't know that before. Right, that's not technically on the button. Okay, brilliant. Now it is. They're obviously magnetic weights, these. Get on the gems, because why not? Come on, out you get. What am I paying you for? Right, can I get this guy without the weight because I've already dropped them down? Oh, is it to do with your height rather than... Come on. I'm going to have to go get the weight again, aren't I? Can I pick him back up? Uh, probably not now. No. I have missed my chance. I'll have to go and use the bombs from later. Right. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else in this cave. Let's have a look. Savaganda. Uh, we've freed the hummingbird. I'm probably going to need to talk to her, don't I? Hello there. Go for it. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Alright, let's move swiftly on. Waddle waddle. Oops. Sorry. Who's that? Ah, just a text. It's fine. You can probably tell from that sound that I like Star Trek an awful lot as well. Ah, yes, here's another one of them weird hurt sounds. Very strange. The sound design in this is rather bizarre. But it works. Somehow. <laughs> what what is the deal with them? I think they're probably the only female Rhinox in the whole game actually. Token female characters? Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, he's not very manoeuvrable this bird. Once you're in the air he sort of floats around weirdly. It is not very easy. Right. Let's take this bomb, let's go and deal with them gophers. For some reason you get four bombs, despite the fact there's only one in his foot. Super quiet. Right, yeah, we'll have to deal with that um, in a second. But, uh, see, last time I... St I'm, I'm never too sure about the game audio, because the levels make it look like it's sort of drowning you out, but... Uh, never too sure. Right, tell me how that is. Right, here we go. Not very smart, this guy. I already got the first one, didn't I? Uh, no gems or anything in here, are there? 
No. Bit more. Uh, How about that? How about it? Right. Get lost. Right, what's next? Oh. Mission accomplished. It's great to have you back, sir. What do you mean accomplished? There's still loads over there. Come on. Ryan Lee. What a weird name. Why is it one word? Perfect, thank you. Right. Yeah, audio's uh, a bit awkward to do, obviously because you can't hear it. Right, we've got this weird... Actually, I'll drop the bomb first. I feel like it's affecting my manoeuvrability a little bit. So is there any actual point to killing these gophers? Oh yeah, there was that safe as well. I need to go and deal with that. Uh, there's another one there. Yeah. Oh, how did I miss that? Grief. Uh, I'll get the gems after. I'll just come on, mop them up. Come on. Out you get. There we are. Splash damage. Bam. Bam said that lady. Alright. Oh, this is going to take forever. <laughs> right. I think there's one in here. How did I hit her? One meaning uh, one prisoner, refugee, whatever it is. Uh, okay, there wasn't one in there. Where are they then? Oh, I got a one up. Oh, yeah, because I got it from there, didn't I? Duh. All right, there's one here. How many are left then? Oh, three. Three out of five. What the hell happened there? Physics mishap. Need to find another bomb. Oh, look, there's a cave down there. Probably somebody in there. Oh, unless that's where I came from, which is probably likely. Because that tends to happen. I have no idea where I'm going 90% of the time. Get rid of that. Acquire the goods. Here we go. Yeah, the uh, yeah the audio. You, the OBS levels aren't aren't really enough to go on because, like I said, the, it looks like it's louder than it is. So it always ends up a bit confusing. It's always a bit confusing. As I say in Liverpool. Right, where's that other hummingbird then? Because I know there's one through that weird cave that we went to. The lava cave. That I haven't gone into yet because I've still got this bomb. Need to find another gopher to kill. Here we are. And... Kaboom! Oh, you want some as well, do you? Skill point? Is that it? Is that all I got for getting them flipping... Oh, chuff me. Don't even know if them skill points do anything. Sonic 06, is that... I don't know if that even counts as a game. Never mind a 3D platformer. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Damn it. Thought I was going to get through that in one piece then. Hello there. Alright, oh, so that... That other hummingbird wasn't. What are your orders, sir? Help me find the other damn hummingbird. Oh yeah, of course there's no easy way out of here either. Ow! Oh damn it! Hit basically nothing on the way in, hitting everything on the way out. Just my luck. There we go. Need to find some ladybirds to murder before I get killed. But yeah. Probably not going to be any around now either because I kept getting hit them by accident. Where are you? There we are. Ah, oh, that's handy. Right. So, it's through there, look. 
How does one get through there? That is the big question of the day. We're going to have to work it out, guys. And it could take a little while. <laughs> right, so if it's through that window... It's obviously not going to be through the cave because there was only one way to go through there. Is there another... There's a little door there. No other way in. It's a right tease, this, isn't it? Do I have to go over the top? Well, no, because you can't go much higher than that. The thing with the streaming Metroid and stuff, I, w I would be tempted to stream some of the, uh, like, well, Super Mario Galaxy, basically, because I think that's my favourite Mario game. However, Nintendo, I, I'm i always a bit scared of them when it comes to streaming in videos and stuff, so I'm a bit wary. But stuff like Spyro's fine, I think Activision's fine with us streaming all their stuff. How are we going to find this damn hummingbird? Do I have to go back to the start? That's going to be fun, isn't it? I reckon I do. And unlike a lot of the levels in this game, it doesn't give me an easy way to get back to the start. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't see another way to get to it, though. I'll take a bomb with me, because I need to get... to break that other... Uh, safe open. Right. Let's see if we can do this. In the meantime, let's talk about uh, cheese. Cheese is pretty good. I like cheese. I've got a lot of time for cheese. Bombs away! Oh, there we go. That answers that question. Fantastic. I love how he doesn't land when he's got a bomb. He just sort of bounces around. Also, what is going on here? He's got like a green meadow sort of thing for his main base, but then it turns into lava. It's like... I don't know. I have no description of this. Before oh, fantastic. Captain, I recovered this egg from the enemy, sir. <gasps> <laughs> Well done, Private. Come on, Roy. Come on, we've already had that joke. Very good. All the eggs. Fantastic. It'd be useful if I could get through this window, but alas, it is not to be. Right. Just got to mop up all the gems now. How many am I on? That's the big question. Uh, oh, 30 left. Okay, that's reasonable. I think we can probably find them. Well, I say that, but I couldn't find the ones on the swamp, so maybe out of luck on that one. But it must be done for the purposes of this challenge which I have set myself. Well, that's like 27 of them already. Yeah, look, we've got 12 to go. May have to do a bit of backtracking here. In fact, that was a good idea because there's two there. So it's either going to be a whole bunch of gems, or it's going to be one that's that's worth ten. Sorry, I'm just sort of hiccuping, yawn cupping. Okay. Oh, there it is! Hooray! Right, and now we leave. It's good to get these little levels out of the way, because they're only short. You can do them pretty easily. Uh, unless, uh, well, until we get to the later ones. The last one is, I do remember it being quite tricky, but that said, I uh, remember a lot of things in this game being quite tricky, and they haven't been. Oh, cutscene time! Shush! Five, four, 
We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. <laughs> Go on, Hunter. <laughs> I feel like there's a gift to be made of that. Thanks. No problem. It's a good thing for you, Hunter was around. I can look after myself. True hero, Spyro is. Sure you can. Would you like me to show you? <laughs> Out of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? Ha! Huh. I'll deal with you later. Hey, I don't know why you got a bit of off. <laughs> I was about to say that, but with slightly stronger words. Uh. Super Mario Galaxy, it's the best one. Okay, let us continue. I will want to try and hoover up as many gems as I can here. Uh, we've just got the um. secret ice cave egg to go, but we can run around and get some gems. And there's quite a few left. There's also that safe there which I need to break open with the... What is it? The rinky dinky do. Super flame, that's it. Ah. Quite a lot of high value gems there, so there's probably not a whole lot left. In fact, I imagine many of them are in the aforementioned ice cave. There's obviously quite a few in here. Why you gotta scatter them around so much? Don't think there's any other use for this super flame. Um. Oh, there's one up there. You need to talk to Hunter to open this world up. Bang. Hello there. Hey, Spyro. Zoe told me that if we hit that doodad up there, do that. The portal there it is again. Open. Why don't you try spitting this rock at it? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's better ways. And. Boo! That's right, chuck another one at me. Hit me right in the face. Enchanted Towers, that's an interesting level. There's a lot of flying around in that one. I'll see you in there later. Alright. Interesting because there's another mini game in there. I'm sure one that will be appreciated. Is there anything behind the waterfall? No, there isn't. I find that trope doesn't seem to play out an awful lot. Which is a disappointment, but hey, it is what it is. Well, look, there's the whaley gig. Yes, we'll uh, do that later. Alright, what's next? Oh yeah, gems. Gems! Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, they were probably in the ice cave, that's what I said, wasn't it? Let's go and do the ice level then. Ice level is awesome. It's super cool. Huh? Huh? There's not going to be any in the river, is there? No. Speedways, we need to do the speedways as well at some point. They're a bit more straightforward in this one. I feel like the rules were the same because in Spyro 2 I got a bit lost with what you were supposed to do. Uh, I didn't seem to be getting any, any orbs from them. But in this one they make a bit more sense. And of course there's mini games in there as well. Yeah! Whee! Oh, look at them reflections, man. Mm. Reflections, they're not a new thing. PS2 could do them. PS1 could do them, rather. By extension, the PS2 could do them. Oh, 
come on, we must have got all the gems by now. Here we go. Hooray! Mingus. I haven't played either of them. I have, however, played Paper Mario 64. And it was very, very good. I should go back to it, actually. Cause I'm trying to think of how far I got. Must have only got about halfway through. But yeah, that was excellent, that game. Very, very good. I really, I have a lot of time for the Mario RPG games. Uh, big fan of... Oh, what's it called? Superstar Saga... No, Partners in Time, that was it. Yeah, and uh, Bowser's Inside Story. Very, very, very good games. Right, that's one. So, just need to find one more. Ugh, here we go. Pixel Hunt, everybody. Oh, is that it there? Oh, yeah. There we go, there's one there. And one there. 400 out of 400. Level complete. Beautiful. Yeah, Odyssey, I need to play that. I haven't got a Switch, though. Um, and I'm not exactly in a position to get one at this stage. But eventually I'll get one. I can see it happening. There's a lot of very good games on there. Thing is, though, a lot of very good games that I can also get on PC. There's only really Odyssey and Mario Kart 8 that I'm actually interested in playing. But... There's also the business of being able to take it anywhere you want, so... There's that. Anyway, this guy's a terrible shot. Oh wow, he actually managed to hit something. I've never seen that before. Rare. I was supposed to meet Doug to go ice fishing today, but Rhinox have blocked the path with ice, so I can't get through. Stereotypical Canadian. And of course they're called Doug and Bob. Which apparently is a Canadian stereotype, I had no idea. I've been trying to clear the way with this cannon, but it doesn't even shoot straight. No, you don't shoot straight, Bob. He sounds a bit Irish, actually. I don't know what that's all about. Are they Irish in Canada? Right, let's get rid of these TNTs to start with, because otherwise they're going to cause us a lot of problems. So let's smash that up and get rid of this guy. Good start. Also, that seems to answer the question of what happens when gems fall off the edge. Alright, thank you for joining me, Shadow. See you next time. Right, we've got another bird to deal with. Burb! Come here, Burb! Down with Burbs. Probably shouldn't say that actually too much. My friend will be very unhappy with me. I do wonder if she's actually played Spyro, come to think of it. Um, I'll have to tell her. She's going to have to play it, because it's amazing. Ooh, we should do a deal, actually. I play Zelda, she plays Spyro. That'd be perfect. Oh, look at this guy. You want some? I'll give it you. Oh, I thought he'd hit me then. He didn't. That's lucky. Oh, look at these ducks. This, the... They really went overboard with the running animations in the best possible way. <laughs> what is that all about? Uh, anyway, I've got to destroy these TNTs because there's gems inside! Delicious, delicious, shiny gems. Mm -mm. Right, there's something I distinctly remember about this level. If I could try and get this guy to the edge here. He's probably not going to come, is he? Well, we'll, uh, we'll show it later. Eh. Yeah, they were smart enough to bring a fire-resistant armour. Not smart enough to uh, not get right up close to me, though. BAM! I feel like I should have not been able to do that, but... You know, I've done it now. I cannot... Also, the ice just looks amazing in this game. This music is cool. Yeah, I think there's just gems under here. Not a single egg yet. Normally we would have got one by now. Maybe I'm just not being tasty enough. Alright. These guys haven't noticed me yet, which is good. So the deal here... I mean, these guys are idiots. They're a bit like uh, if you've played Age of Empires 2, the petards that you can build from the castle. Yeah, well done. Well, well <laughs> how far are you going to get with that? 
They sound a bit like the seals, actually, don't they? Oh, well, yeah. He just fell straight into the hole. Nice. And somehow exploded, even though he went into freezing cold water. Yeah. Don't quite get that one. But, you know, video games. Huh. That is why you should always have your weapon ready. John Wick would be very disappointed by that guy. Here we go. Oh, that was cool. Nice. And kablam. Fantastic. Did I miss any down there? No, I did not. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we did get an egg, didn't we, by flying to that initial little island. Boom. Hey, <laughs> there it is. Right, look. We've got a little rocket. Yep. Guess where that's going to go. Whee! And bam! I think they must be programmed not to fall off the edge. <laughs> See ya. Uh, right, we need to... There's a little leg up there, look. Oh, and there's a flipping... Right. I think it must be through there that... Or maybe through there? There is one mini game on here. Now I've said every game thus far has been very difficult and a lot of the times they've not really been all that difficult. However, the game on this one, my god. Alright, I have to get up there through there, don't I? That's fine. Yeah, not a whole lot of fun. Oh, but there was that, um... There was an ice hockey game, wasn't there, on... Oh, what was it? Was it Colossus? On Spyro 2? Yeah, it might have been. Uh, I'm just trying to think. There might be a similar game on this. I'm pretty sure there is another ice hockey game. And it's virtually the same. Yeah, they recycled a lot of ideas, I realise. Playing this now. I mean, it's not that it's a bad thing. They took the ideas and, you know, they... Uh, might as well use them again. This game is amazing. Even made even more amazing by the fact that they pinched a lot of their own ideas. It's fine. They just sort of refined them a little bit, but hey. Uh, oh, look at that reflection. What happened to reflections in games? They say that machines have been getting more powerful, but if they've been if they're that powerful, we would have reflections, damn it. Did you just get knocked over by the TNT? Brilliant. Man, it's quite loud on my end. Barely hear myself speak. Right, over here. Oh, wouldn't it be horrible if it fell off there? In fact, something about these skyboxes really freaks me out. I think it's just because they're all islands in the middle of nowhere, these levels. It's just freaky. I'm sure we've had one called Maynard already. Well,. He's not going to get very far, as he? he keeps going kip. Right, here we go. What's next? Oh, there's more birds. Wow! Bah! No! No! Wow! Ooh, just missed that one. Oh, look at the reflection as well. Oh, look at the reflection of the sun. It's so nice. More reflections in games, please. They're coming back, aren't they? Um. There's that whole business, I can't remember what they call it, they give it a fancy name. But it basically means, we're getting reflections back! It's amazing. Of course, you probably need a super duper powerful machine to do it, but... I don't care! <laughs> sounded a bit like a brute. Poor money bags, I've just freed him and he's probably going to ask me for some money still. Come on, come on! These birds are no threat, and yet I'm shooting them down. Okay. I'll talk to Moneybags in a second. What I will do is uh, fire my cannon at all them TNTs, because that sounds like fun. Bang, bang. Pow, pow. Shoot, shoot. If you've ever watched the cartoon Batfink, you'll understand that reference. 
Whee! Alright, give me the cash monies. Over here, I don't know if there's anything exciting, it's just more gems. But that's the nature of a collectathon, is it not? That's why they call them collectathons after all, because we're all about collecting shiny th Oh crap, oh crap, uh oh. That was a close call, wasn't it? Oh dear. That's like when you're driving and you turn slightly too late and you nearly ram into everything. So, how does one... How does one... Ah, wrong way. How does one get their arse up there, then? It seems to be from the other side. Of course, there's nothing but gems up there, but hey. It's what we live for. Ah, look. Hang on, no, 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 wait. I need to go further on and then come back round, I think. If I remember correctly. But of course, I could be entirely wrong. As is often the case. Let's just move ahead and see what we can find. Moneybags will speak to him in a bit. BAM! Nice. Yeah, look, here we go. Bird! Down with bird. I'm an incredibly good shot when it comes to giant birds and giant cannons. Yeah, look, here we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, the, uh, what? Hang on. Oh, no, 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 I know what this is. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, okay, we'll come back to that as well. Wow. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is this is uh, got some, some mini-games on it. Okay, yeah, we'll go back to that one. Sweet. I remember that. I put up ice blocks this morning so Bob wouldn't beat me to the ice fishing hole. If you want to try out the hole, you can borrow this fishing lure I've been using. Okay. <laughs> how, how far did that get you exactly? Because it's pretty big. Although I didn't see any fish, so. By the way, feel free to use our gondola whenever you want. <laughs> okay, I'll take you up on that offer. Thank you. See you later, Doug. Right, where can I go to? There's the cannon there. There's this. Oh yeah, I've just been down there. Can you get anywhere from here? You can get to the whirlwind. Which leads you to here. And you know what here is? Oh. <gasps> Look at that. I think what you were supposed to do is get up here and then headbutt the floor, but I managed to cheekily do it instead. Break the rules, as Simon Vicklin told us. We've got another bird. Don't know how that can be, I thought I'd tuck him out, but we can deal with him. Get the one up. Onto the whirlwind. Over oh, there's another egg here. Okay, sweet. Reese. That's a wit. Uh, yeah, hell of a name. Oh, I love them little baby dragons. Are they? What? What would you call a baby dragon? Is it just a baby dragon, or is it a hatchling, or a pup? Because they're a bit, they're a bit catty, aren't they? Dragons. Well, they've got a bit of a cattiness to them. Nice. Oh, now I've got to go all the way back. <laughs> Roogie. Right. How much? Obviously, we've got the little mini games to go, but. There it is, look, Nancy the Skater. Oof. In fact, maybe I should do that one and get it out of the way. Sorry. There was something very nostalgic about that bird sound. What? What? What's that set off in me? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's not accurate to that particular bird, but hey. Right up, Spyro. Behind this door is the single greatest show on earth. Oh, yeah. That's right, ice dancing. Season tickets are available. Where's uh, Philip Schofield when you need him? Uh, take off hoser. I always knew you were a cultured sort of dragon. Well, step Thank right you. in. The show's about to start. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? Wow. 
Right, this goddamn level. Here we go. Ugh. Are you ready for this? Oh, that reflection, that one. Tonight is my big ice dance performance, and these oh. hockey players Hello, are ruining it. Every time I start my routine, they come in and smack me with their sticks. Oh, I sure wish I had a partner. Someone courageous and strong and handsome and purple who breathes <laughs> fire. <laughs> I mean, all you need to do is ask. Will you please help me perform my ice dance? These mean Reinick hockey players keep hogging the ice, and all I want to do is dance. Sure thing. Thanks, Evil go. hockey players. Not many games where you'd see that phrase. Right, let's keep an eye on the reflections. I feel like they're going to help us. <laughs> he says. Yeah, this one can be a pain in the butt. Don't know what these guys' problem is. I mean, she's not exactly doing anything outrageous. After that, this is probably a lot easier than that ice dancing game on the NES. No! Damn it. That's okay. It didn't hurt as much as it looked. <laughs> let's try again. All right. Thanks. Let's go. I didn't chase boys, I sleep in cars with boys. I wonder if you can kill them while they're in the uh, little bays there. Right. There's a guy that comes from that direction now, but... Oh no, he was the threat, wasn't he? There was one coming from there. But I feel like there's another one coming. I always feel like there's another one coming. Just keep an eye on the reflections. There we are, look. Very helpful. Sort of telegraph where they are. Because you can't hear them. You can hear her plenty, but not the Rhinox. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. Hooray. Oh, there was actually somebody watching. I wish there was a spiral bow button, but I will just have to breathe flame. We did it. That was my best performance ever. Nice. I guess one of the judges didn't like it, though. He threw this egg at me instead of a rose. Why don't you have it? Well, cheers. So you think it's something not worth having? I'll just give it to that guy who helped. I couldn't have done it without. Fortunately, it's good for me, but shut up. Is there another one? Maybe you can be my ice dancing partner in the next Olympics. Okay, there is not another Nancy one. Well, yeah, that one's a pain in the butt, but again, we managed it uh, a bit easier. That seems to be happening, but I won't say the same. I'm not going to... Uh, second guess myself because the next one's coming up and the next one oh yes Wah! oh good landing Ugh, when you're trying to save time oh yeah you can see what's coming can't you right these two jokers again it's all about keeping that inside lane and just getting slight gains on him. Way! And then he go, does stuff like that. I have fallen off this level so many times. Right, so he sort of goes off to the right. To Whoa! He changed direction! No, he can't do that! Now look, he's got a massive gain on me. Oh, no, he hasn't. Ah! Bam! Yes! And did I hit that ice on the way around as well? Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb! Whoa, Black Betty, bam a lamb! Sorry. I'm sure. Hi there, uh. Tolo Bluxmo. Uh. Well, I found this game in a. You know, I don't actually remember where I got it from back in the day. I was gonna make a joke there, but. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> Brilliant. Talking about falling off. 
Right, I will tell you what I did. I have the original game on an original disc. It's a platinum version. I also have the original non-platinum version. I keep falling off this. It's very frustrating. Um, but this version is the game of the year version. Now, the place where I got it from has been taken offline, so I'm afraid I can't help you with actually downloading it. But... I do recommend playing it on original hardware where possible, so yeah, do that. Uh, while I'm here, bam. Yeah. Well, I grew up when this was released, so again, I can't. I don't remember where I got it from. I just remember having it back in the old days. So, and it's always been around. But I, it's, this is the US Greatest Hits version, um, which has some slight changes, which we haven't quite come across yet. Um, but otherwise, it is basically the same thing. And I apologise in advance if I don't respond to your questions immediately, because I have to kind of keep an eye on this. <laughs> I am not gaining on him at all. This is very difficult. Good lord. This is probably going to be really difficult to watch for anybody with motion sickness. Eh. Oh, good lord. You have to sort of memorise the track, don't you? This is going to take forever! I wish you'd go the other way, because that was a bit easier to... to there wasn't as many jumps. It's whenever you jump, you lose momentum massively. And he doesn't, of course. Eh. The 100% in goes well-ish. It's going as well as you can probably see right now, which is very, very difficult. Damn it. Ugh. Dusk versus Tweak, hey! Kane and Rinsa, how goes it? Ugh. This is embarrassing. Fortunately, I have enough lives, but if I start getting low, then I'll just have to leave this one for later. Or, you know, if it goes on for too long, because this is entertainment after all. Come on. I'm just not getting a gain on him at all. It's very, very difficult. And this is the most accurate, very difficult that I've said thus far. Because I've said every game's been difficult, and it's not been. But this one, this one remains difficult. But I must have done it back in the day, because I remember doing it. Oh, here we go, look. Again, it's all about memorising this track, and... Oh, now you go the other way. Oh, yeah, cheers. All right, so you can kind of... Ah, okay. This is good. Not as many jumps on this track. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get a bit closer. <sighs> right, come on. Come on, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Ah, oh, you bollock. Oh. <sighs> go back the other way. Oh, we've got to do all that again now. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, right, he's on this track again. Good, 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 good. Right. So which way did he jump before? Did he go to the right? Yes, he did. Did they ever go to the left, I wonder? Ugh. Now we're going to extreme concentration mode where I say basically nothing. Ugh. Is there any pattern or does he just change his mind when he likes. Come on, you beggar. Come on! Ugh. I'm slowly but surely getting closer and closer. In fact, there we go. I'm very close now. Come on. Come on, you beggar. Ah. See, I saw that one coming. Oof. Right, we're nearly there. And bam! Yes! Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh. Very nice. Oh, whew, one out now. Chuff me. Right, how many gems are left on this? I cannot even tell what that is on my phone. Let's have a closer look. Gotta believe. Yeah, we did it. Hooray! 
So there's about 50 gems left. We'll get them another time. I'm in no rush. Hmm. I shall drink my Vasa. With it, mm. No, I got all the gems, didn't I? Because there was only that safe. Right, well, I guess. Guess we'll just continue on then. Up these stairs. Yes, very good. Yeah, we'll come back for the gems. I may do. I may do that in my own time, just because it's a bit tedious to watch. All right. Things are going swimmingly thus far. That went about as well as I expected. Okay, what next? I reckon. Uh, I reckon Enchanted Towers next. I want to save the best for last. And Enchanted Towers is good, but it's not the best one. I like the skybox. I have to say that they kind of copped out here because they reused music. And they did that a lot in this game. And that's one of the changes that they made in this Game of the Year version. Game of the Year version? Whatever it's called. It's got a green box. It looks kind of weird. Grummy Rhinox forced us to build a statue of the sorceress. Then, after we built it, she complained it was too ugly. If you what? ask me, the statue is much prettier than she is. <laughs> Brilliant. What are those guys? Are they like... Are they just purple people? There we go. Deal with that guy. Right, so you've got these little froggy things, but then they grow into these slightly bigger froggy things that fly. Which is a bit weird. I highly recommend the Sparrow games. They are some of the best 3D platformers around. Although, this coming from a a big fan of 3D platformers and B somebody is very nostalgic for Spyro but I uh, I just recently finished the second one I hadn't played that before and that was very good as well only problem is I would say definitely play them in order don't um, don't go for the third one first like I did definitely play them in order because they get better as they go along damn Spyro learn to spit I guess you can do that. Yeah, that's a lot quicker, actually, isn't it? I've never known, actually, if they go, sort of, they actually move into the distance or whether they just get smaller. Have to, uh, maybe try and get a definitive resolution on that. You could probably flame them, guys. Definitely flame these guys. I'm not sure what the point of this level is, because every, every other one has been sort of the specific theme, and this one's just like, well, towers in it. But, you know, could be worse. I just feel like the music doesn't fit, because it's like sort of military music that was on Sergeant Bird's level. Speaking of the remaster, by the way, that's why I'm playing this now, because I want to uh, try and finish it before the remaster hits, which in next... No. November, isn't it? And it's looking really good so far. If they do as good a job with that as they did with Insane Trilogy, then I'm going to be very impressed. Damn it. <laughs> that was a dumb death. Dumb ways to die. Oh, and I've got to do it again now. Ugh. Well, to be honest, I haven't died all that much until now, so... At least it's making me look... Fallible. Not like I'm cheating. What have we got here? Uh, we've got another one of these guys. Fortunately, we have a handy green glob of whatever it is. <laughs> Crying out loud. Where's he gone? I mean, he's probably not going to be much of a threat. I do know they spit fire at you, but. I think they do move off in the distance, actually, but um, it might be a mixture of the two. Up the whirlpool, whirlwind. Sorry, I actually do remember a mini game that's not difficult so much as awkward on this level. Anyway, and there's some really nice sort of architecture here. It looks pretty good. Yeah, like Dust versus Tweak said, graphics have held up very well. Right, 
Here's the statue in question. We're going to do a bit of uh, heroic vandalism. If you've played Dungeons and Dreadmore, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. Oh, you thought you could get me then. You're a bit quick on the draw there, Sunbeam. Yeah, get lost. Wow, that was an explosion sound. That was extremely loud. Clipped. There we go. Hey, oh. The world Jesper. breathlessly awaits my brilliant four-dimensional masterpiece. Huh? Just light all the rockets and prepare to be amazed by my genius. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah, I think there's a lot of things making the explosion effect at once there, so... Uh... It's, it's, it's a bit of a cacophony. Yeah, the problem with these guys is they move up and down if you get close to them. So you've got to got to put some distance between yourself and them. Only problem there, you can only spit a limited distance. Makes it a little bit more difficult than it perhaps needs to be. Yeah, you can't flame them. They're a bit like cacodemons in that regard, except the exact opposite. You want Sam? Oh, they're little, aren't they? The perspective makes them look bigger than they are. Here we go. Can you guess where the egg is? And... Kaboom! There we are. Oops! I forgot I hid this egg inside the statue. <laughs> I hope the explosion didn't hard boil it. That would be a disaster. Peanut! Hi there. He's a chubby one, isn't he? Blimey. Oh great, we've got the uh, flipping magician artist guy. Wonderful. Yeah. This, this level... It is very nice. It just feels like it's not had quite as much effort put in. Maybe? I could be wrong about that. Graphically, it's very impressive. It just seems like the sort of rest of it is missing. Because them guys are just, like, purple guys. They're not fireflies or bears or anything like that. I don't know what I'm saying. I could just be talking out of my arse. So anyway, what's down here then? Wah! Other than a massive headache for Spyro. It would be a minigame. I can't remember what this one is actually. Yeah, I remember what it is. We'll come back to this one. Hey. Oh, Dusk, you are in for a real treat. Um, this is going to be fun. Yeah, look. Look at the dog up there. This is. Uh, in fact, we need to find our way to get to it. It's probably one of these whirlwinds over here. Oh. What? Down with dogs. So, there's a reason for that. The only thing is... If I remember rightly, you can't get them all, the Spyro. You can, however... Get this. There we are. You, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time working out where everything is. But we shall try. Try we shall. Did some stuff fall down here? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a sprawl, this level, isn't it? Oh, am I back at the start? Oh, okay. That probably makes things easier. So, where are we going? Oh, nice. Uh, have I feeling there's something in that big tower over there? Well, there must be because I've not taken those guys out yet. I have a feeling they're not really up to much, but I also have a feeling they've contained delicious gems, so might have to try and take them out. Ah, there we go. Look, hold on. How do we get over there? Uh, with difficulty. It appears. Hmm. 
Oh no, look, we just need to glide over, don't we, of course. Here we are. Whee! Again, I have to question how the guys that live here get around this place. Oh, there was... Wow, what's that minigame? Oh, yeah, oh. A bit of an awkward one, if I remember. I'm just trying to remember what it was, man. Come here. I don't think I've ever killed one while it's been in its sort of flat state. Ow. This is a pain in the ass, isn't it? There's too many of them. There's too many of you! Ah. That's what I mean when you say when I say getting tasty with it. Getting while they're spawning. Ugh. Right, let's try doing it the proper way. Come, sir. And this is why we don't do it the proper way. Well, these guys are going to be like shooting fish in a barrel. There we go. Gulp. And. Kapow. Oh, come on. Splash damage should have got him. Whee! Boink. What was that minigame in there? I'm trying to remember what it was. I mean, obviously we'll know what it was when I go in and do it, but it would be nice to sort of try and recall. Hey, down you go, and give me that loot. Thank you, and good night. Right, uh, let's go and do this first. I'm ready to patrol the towers and the perimeter of the islands whenever you want me to. I'm not your boss. Go and do it yourself. It's good to be back in action. I have to wonder what he's what sort of things he did before. Is this his job? Just to sort of run around. Ah! You see. Oh, well, did he make that noise? Right, now <laughs> first of all. this this creature and yeah this is supposed to be a dog they don't actually hurt you at all which is good because it means we can have a proper look at them bye you weird satanic creature you're doing great please find the rest of the bones so we can put my friend back together <laughs> yeah I believe this guy is um, from Spyro 2, but also, yeah, he's, he's the one who tells you that the dogs, but we can't hear that because I already grabbed a bonus Spyro, didn't I, so. Gems. Obviously, it's a lot easier to get around this level as Bird. Hey. Did I get him? No, the homing rockets weren't homing enough. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to get him? Come here. Where's he gone? He's vanished. Right, anyway, yeah, these dogs, they're a bit of a pain to find sometimes. They're hidden in all sorts of weird places. Whoa! You alright there, bird? Yeah. No. Maybe. No. Okay, I don't think they're dropping jet. Oh, oh, are they? What? What is that noise they're making? Right, there's one. Basically, you just gotta listen out for the weird noise they make. Nothing up here, by the looks. Down with giant green flame weirdos. Did I hear one then, or was that just the music? Oh! They look a bit like the first boss, actually, those guys. Ah, hello there. <laughs> One up for me, thank you. Seems to be having a bit of trouble flying. Maybe he's hurt his foot. Oh, come on, they must have hit. Yes. Indeed. Okay. 
Was there anything in here? Can't, did I actually go in here before? I think I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. Of course I did. Right, where are the rest of these dogs then? Keep an ear out. <laughs> Let's smash some of these while we're at it. Who put these here? That's the question. Thought the music had given up then. I can't hear any of them. Where the hell are they? Ah! There's one. Yeah, they even make like a barking noise when they kill them, but... They don't look nothing like dogs. Down here, maybe? Ah, look, the minigame's been locked off. What a shame. That would have been uh, interesting to see if we could do it as bird. Die. Uh, man. There's not even that many places to... Oi! I saw that. Get lost. This is going to take forever. Is the... Oh, oh, hello. Down you go. How did this even happen? <laughs> and how did they get so far out that... Yeah, well, you, you know what I mean. There are no bridges or anything here, and yet all these creatures that are wingless and flightless are somehow able to get around really easily. Right, we've just got one more to find. Ah, look. Gem. Also, it's really awkward architecture, because if you were... First of all, you can't get up here, and when you do get up here, you walk up and you've just got a dead end. <laughs> Last one. Last doggo. Where are you? Not going to be at the top of that thing, is he? No, there's not anything there. What about this one? No, but this guy wants a piece. Yeah, get lost. Oh. Did I hear something then? No, I've just been in there, haven't we? Ugh. Uh, it's going to take ages. <laughs> Come on, where's the last one? I keep feeling like I, I can hear it, but... It seems to be red herring material. No, we got that one, didn't we? What's he doing? Fly, you damn bird. Been to that one. Probably somewhere really obvious, isn't it? I'm just not looking. I think we got. Yeah, there was one in there and we got it. This is the problem. Because the longer we go, the less crazy crap I'm going to have to talk about, which means it's going to be a very boring stream the more this happens. So, what I should do is probably talk about um, the effects of good graphic design on the socio-economic climates of Yugoslavia. Mm. And again, that's not a topic I'm too well versed about, so maybe, maybe not. Oh, come on. Doesn't help that he's really awkward to control. It's like it's like flying on ice. Yeah, of course we're not going to be able to see anything from up here because of all the imposter that's going on. It's going to be my bedtime before we find this damn dog. Ugh. 
Right, we need to take a systematic approach. The only thing is, I was going to just suggest that I go through all the... Just hear it then. Oh! Where is it? I can hear it. It's in this direction. Where though? He's not in that. Oh, he is in that room. I just thought I just looked in there. Hey! Here, have this. I was going to keep it as a souvenir, but I don't have room in my luggage. But then, <laughs> Ralph. He's sad because his uh, my friend is feeling much his CFO got thrown out the window. Oh no! He started his bone dance again. Oh no! Yeah, this is a Spyro 2 reference. Hey. Yeah. I feel like the animators didn't have access to the music. Not much of a dance that really, was it? Well done. Ugh. I think if you talk to him again he does that goes through that whole routine again and we don't need that we just need to uh, are there any more green guys I think we must have taken them all out if not we can always go back right back into the weird bird house I'm ready to patrol the tower yeah you've heard I'll be here when you need me good stuff let's go do this one Go do this one and then we'll move on to the next level, I think. New music! This is new music, this wasn't here before. Hi. I was playing catch with my pet wolf Farley, but I accidentally threw his ball down this oh, hole. Oh no. And he went in after it. Now he's stuck down there. I feel so helpless sitting up here. Listening to his steadily softening whimpers. Don't cry, wolf. Never cry, wolf. Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, I was going to look down and do a sort of dramatic thing, but no. That's, uh... Interesting wolf. Now... This one, if I recall correctly, takes forever and is a pain in the ass. Oh yeah, it's a right flipping puzzle. Yeah, you have to keep pressing these buttons and doing sorts of stupid stuff. No, nope. my ball. I mean, would you want to have something in your mouth that a dog's had in his mouth? Also, wouldn't Spyro having something in his mouth, like a rubber ball, wouldn't it melt the ball? Oh, come on! Oh, Dog. I'm probably not even doing the right thing here, am I? In fact, no, I'm not. I've just remembered what you're supposed to do. That's what you're supposed to do. Check this out. Oh, look. This is one of them buttons that you can flame to twitch on. It's good, that, isn't it? <laughs> good. I would have let that happen, but um, I need the gems. It is quite entertaining, though. Was he going to try and get him to... Come on, dog. Cheers. On to the thing with you. I mean, I could have got across there, but I'm guessing the dog couldn't. One of the few characters in this game who can't jump massive distances. Interestingly enough. Right, what's the deal here, then? 
Oh, dog. What are you doing? Oh, have I got to stand on it to... Ah. Oh, that was weird. Go forth and gather ball. For the good of the homeland. There we go. Good dog. This is one of the goodest buys in gaming. Blit. Oh, damn it. No, no, no. Although he's stood in the right spot now. That's good. Or is he? Uh. Huh? What? Ah, okay. Give me that ball, please. Did I just give him it off him? Dog! Out of the way! Go forth. Ah. Ah. And there we go. Nicely done. <laughs> arf, arf. There you go. Apparently, rubber balls don't affect giant rhinox. Oh! Oh, is that done? Don't oh, throw the ball down there again. I mean, I could give you this old egg, but Farley's been chewing on it, and it's kind of slimy. Oh, nice. Oh, well, it's the thought that counts, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure thing. How do you pronounce that? Lice? Lice? Scritch. Dragon Scritch. By the way, the... This seems to happen with quite a few of the uh, NPCs in this game. They look around really intensely like this. <laughs> uh, it's, you'll notice that Moneybags does it, and some other characters do it as well. It's very strange. Okay, that's that out of the way. Bye, doggy. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll come back and do the... Oh, no! Wait, no, we won't come back and do the other minigame. We'll do it now, because it's amazing! It's the most amazing thing ever. If I can remember how to get back to it. It'll be this way, won't it? Yeah, because look, there's that whirlwind. Here we go. Up the stairs, up the stairs, if you'd be so kind. Wah! Bam! Ready? Oh, you ain't ready for nothing. Oh, there's that music again. Cool. Well, Hunter, what have you found here? Isn't this the wildest skateboard park you've ever seen? Once again, you this should be parted tricks, over to Thug Two. Score huge points in this place. What do you say I show you some moves? Eh. All right. Let's start with something easy. You can jump off the end of ramps by pressing the X button. I'll show you how to do it once. Then it's your turn. Oh, very good tutor that you've got there. Here we go. Wow. Great technique. Whee! Okay, now... T yeah, shut up. Can't skip these mandatory tutorial cutscenes, by the way. Woohoo! Who the man? Wonder what's on the bottom of that skateboard. Hey, nice roll. Nice. Now see you pull a flip. Flips are exactly like rolls, only a push up or down. And... Yes, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure I was doing these on the first skateboard in minigame. Here we go. Woohoo! Yeah, what is on the bottom of that board? Whoa, you must be a natural. Now let's see if you can pull off a half pipe spin move. Wow. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> that was totally not programmed or anything. Damn it. Pressed X. Spine transferred it. Wait, what? Okay, no, I didn't press X. Huh. 
Oh, nice landing. Oh, but I, I bailed at the last minute. Hey. All right, you nailed it. Now let's see if you can do a 900. Get as oh. as you can. Spin two and a half revolutions in the air and land back on the ramp. We're doing the old Tony Hawk's thing, are we? And Hunter's just gonna pull it off like it ain't no thing. Well done. One, two, three. Yay! Now that was a nine hundred. I have to admit, you've got some skills, Spyro. But before you get too cocky, let's see if you can score some real points on the giant ski ramp. Do whatever moves you want and see how many points you can get. Five hundred points, easy. Hunter is awesome. I agree. He doesn't normally wear pants though. It's a bit strange. Oh wait, what? I think I did it wrong. Oh well. Wow, you learn really fast. <laughs> it worked. You are being trained by a master Shut up. Speaking of which, I was just practicing a nearly impossible new move that I call the nasty nork. I oh, yeah. almost pulled it off when I suddenly ran smack into this dragon egg and wiped out. Shh. Okay, I made that up, but mm -hmm. you can have this egg. Wonder if you can actually do this nasty nork move. Is it an actual move you can do in the game? <coughs> Because if it ain't, they'd miss a trick. Maybe it's remaster material. I'm thinking you're ready to try some one-on-one -on -one competition. Want to try a freestyle competition for points? Uh, okay. All right. Whoever scores the most points in the time limit wins. That sounds like a most excellent idea, dude. Two minutes. Wow, they really have looked at for Pintoni arcs, haven't they? Woo wee wee! Doesn't that count as a 900? Oh, you can't grind either. I was just, I was just looking at them and thinking, oh, I'll do some grind moves there, but no, isn't that game? Whoa, nice! That's some points right there. Woohoo! Oh damn it! I lost my combo. No. Right, here we go. Mm -mm. I think that's the best way to get points, just to do that twisted lime. There it is. Down the ramp and woohoo! Oh, that was nice. 4K, beautiful. I think I'll just keep doing that. I've got this in the bag. Although he is catching up, isn't he? Oh, I'm getting less points the more I do it. Look, that makes sense. Again, I think that's a Tony Hawk's thing. Oh, hey, there we are. I got like 2,000 odd points last time, how come I... Oh, I don't know. I don't get how the scoring works in this. You just get numbers. Things happen. Woohoo! Ah, you can't, you can't do tricks unless you're flapping your wings apparently. God damn it. Come on, find another board. Find another floating holographic board. Here we go. Whee! I'm only nine for that. What's that all about? I think I should get uh, points for blowing fire, breathing fire, not blowing fire. Good lord. Okay, that was not as successful as I thought it'd be. No. I mean, I am like miles ahead. So, ooh, there is secret stuff up there. Oh well, I won. Can't believe it. How did you get so good already? <laughs> Someday you might even break my course record. Listening to some ska punk, mate. Anyway, I guess I should give you this other egg I found. I was going to keep it for a pet, but I can't get it to hatch. Oh, oh, is that right? Watch the master. These, oh, brilliant. Fart jokes. Ah. Oh. There you go, six out of six. Guess we're running around getting all the gems then now. The fun part. There's a lot of this we haven't actually explored. I think it just like starts a a free skate, basically. Oh. Well there was absolutely naff all up there. Beautiful. What a waste of my time. 
Is there anything up here? One lousy gem. Great. No. No! I want the, the doodah. Rinka dinka doo. Come on. There we go. Really? That's fine. It's fine. Oh, can I. Oh, great. Ugh. There we are. Might as well get some pints while we're here. Whatever not. Right. How am I going to do this now? I think I need to bail on purpose. Oh, how do you get up there? I think I've worked it out. Yeah, I'll go back and get that after. And yeah, you just need to jump from here, don't you, basically? Is he gonna land it? No. <laughs> no, well, you can probably glide from up there, can't you? Oh, that's how I got all the points, by doing ridiculous amounts of spins. Okay. Do you get faster and faster? Yeah, I think you must get faster and faster the more you're, uh, the longer you go. Oh. I hope it doesn't reset me and like dump me back at the start when it runs out of time. If it does, I'm going to be very cross. Soon find out. Yes, in fact it does. Ten grand? Ugh. Oh. No thanks. How am I going to get all these gems, man? Uh, no, no. Again, probably best if I come back and do it. Oh, can I go through on, this, on the board? Yes, I can. I've got the eggs, that's the main thing. Now it's time to get out of here. Are you ready for some stereotypes? Hope, sure hope you are. Ooh, that's nice. Slow camera. One of the hallmarks of 3D platformers. Oh, crap cameras. Although, hmm, I was going to say the one in Hat in Time is probably the best there is, but that's a modern game, so that would make sense. Here we go, Bamboo Terrace. Guess what's here? I bet you can't. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, they've not got racist accents. Spyro! Rhinox have been harassing us all day. The workers haven't been able to harvest the bamboo needed for the whirligig to take you to Evening Lake. We've tried asking them to leave, but there's no reasoning with them. <laughs> Why would... So, asking them to leave isn't going to help, because their reason for being here is to stop me from getting any further. Thus, well, you know... Mm. They're doing a Age of Empires 2 tactic and cutting off the supply chain. Yeah, you see. Oh, I've never noticed that before. <laughs> wow. Down with Meese. Oh, where's he gone? Panda. Oh, it's being chased by a guy with a brolly. Oi! Where's he gone? So many pandas. In this world, they are not in the. Uh... What's the list called of animals who are endangered? Endangered animals list, maybe. Pushing that boulder was hard work, but as soon as I've caught my breath, I'll return to collecting bamboo. I mean, there's no. I've got right pot bellies, aren't they? Look at that. What have they been eating? Are well, they eating bamboo? What are they doing? I think they've got a stash, obviously. Oh, crap. Oh, what's that now? Fireworks. That seems dangerous. 
Yeah, there he is, look. He's like them guys from Metal Slug 3. Or one of the Metal Slugs. Might have been in more than one, but I don't remember them being in one. Uh, them soldiers that literally just throw fireworks at you. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But, such is the uh, nature of Metal Slug that it's supposed to be ridiculous. Here we go. There's a lot of eggs on tiny little islands that you have to glide to, I notice. <laughs> it's fine. You're a free dragon now. What's that guy's deal? Okay. Boo. See ya! Here we go. Once again. How the hell do these people get around? It's a, it's a big burning question. It's a law question. It needs to be answered. It's a bit like... Well, I was going to say it's a bit like Crash. But it's a bit like all, <laughs> all platformers. Basically any game where you have to get around by jumping. Look at all them one-ups. That makes up for all them deaths that I had on that um, Egg Thief bit on Icy Peak. Also, how do butterflies fly around underwater? <laughs> Get a bit soggy, wouldn't they? No Sparks is also a fly, but he's in a bubble, so I don't count. Alright. Those guys don't really pose a whole lot of threat, do they? <laughs> Didn't even try then, did he? That looks like it'd snap if you tried to hit somebody with it. Do mooses live in China? That is a very satisfying death, isn't it? I'll just burn all the bamboo that I need to collect, it's fine. Burn his bottom. Alright, oh, there was this swimming bit that's a bit of a pain. I seem to recall this took me a while to get through uh, when I was little as well. That said, everything took me a while to get through when I was little. I wasn't very good at video games. I'm still not, to be honest. Did you just throw it straight into the ground? That is very irresponsible. You don't know anything about how to handle fireworks. Oh look, there's one of them crazy pots. We saw that in Spyro 2 as well. What kind of stereotypical name have you got? Sing Sing, really. I'm sure you would. Let's see it. Oh look, it's an egg. Ugh. Oh, the emergency escape bridge. Why didn't I think of it sooner? I shall open it right away. Well done, Sing Sing. So a big fan of um Oh, what's it called? Ah, oh, who's that uh jazz musician? I can't think of his name at the moment, but it, basically the guy who did Sing Sing Sing, that was the joke I was making. Anyway, look, pot, smash it, what happens? It appears somewhere else. Pretty cool little gameplay mechanic and a nice little treasure hunty type deal. It's cool. I have a lot of time for it. Okay, where are we? Down with bamboo. Where is it next? It's next to them three pandas who are still doing weird things. So what's here then? Well, it's another character that we haven't unlocked yet. There is no Yeti here, and there never was. Why is there a sign that has a Yeti on it then? He was just a myth as far as you know. Well done. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Another one of these blockheads. Which way are you going to go? Onto the bridge. Yep, thought so. Bye. Yeah, don't cross my path. Help then, stupid pandas. I'll just watch him go past. I'm losing momentum here from all this jumping I have to do. Yep. This isn't even on a speed thing either. Ugh, these egg thieves, man. This is That's really the only bit where you can get a gain on him. Well, I guess there as well. Keep the jumps as short as possible. 
You see, he gets really far ahead of you. Ugh. Oh, here we go, look. Bam! Oh, I managed to actually hit... Oh, no, there went the dragon egg. Oh. Pee Wee Herman. Hey there. Wow, look at them eyes. That's creepy. Whee! Okay. So what's next? Um, go out to the hidden cave. I don't remember if there's any mini games on this level. There might be. Hidden cave. I believe that's the one where that Rhinoc was. But look, we've got the emergency bridge, so we can go straight to the end of the level. From the oh look! Just speaking of mini games. Hooray! Okay. Hi there. Please help us, Spyro. Okay. Our friends are trying to go home after a long shift in the <sighs> fields, but rotten rhinox keep knocking them down. Can you save the panda workers? Uh, can. Please hop aboard. Make sure to toast the rhinox, but not my friends. <sighs> what was this one? Oh no! Oh man! Jeez, yeah. I vaguely remember this, man. Okay. My oh my. I mean... <laughs> I feel like I have an, a distinct advantage having a 1080p screen. Oh god! Sorry! <laughs> he just gave up, didn't he? I'm sure you would succeed if you were to try again. Yeah, get on with it. They're always very forgiving, these guys, aren't they? This time, don't hit a panda by accident and burn all his fur off. I wonder how these people defend themselves normally. How do these people function? We need a, we need a Spyro comic strip series to explain all this stuff. Oh. Oh, what? Get lost. Good lord. This is not very good FPS controls. It's very floaty. Obviously, I'm not using the right stick, I'm using the D-pad here. It's a bit like when I played Tex Atomic's Big Bot Battles and I had to aim with the numpad. Ooh, close call. Oof. Please take this shiny egg. Okay. It will bring you good luck. Okay. I like shiny eggs. Sounds like a Pokemon phrase. Awesome. All right. Bye. <laughs> Would you like to try some of this bamboo? It tastes great. Uh, no, thank you. I'm a dragon. Oh, I guess I'm not going back in there. Obviously, nothing to collect. Hidden cave. Well, we're going to get to that hidden cave, eh? There must be a way. Obviously. Or else it wouldn't be a uh, an objective, would it? So. I'm thinking maybe it's up here. I need to be going. Oh no, I forgot about that pot. Maybe if I follow the pot, I'll find out where it is. Look at Mr. Lee! How do? I would look at you, but I can't see you. You are just text on a screen, unfortunately. Thank you for stopping by, though. I uh, much appreciated. Right, it was out here, wasn't it? I don't think these pots contain anything other than gems, but we need them. Is that a Spyro remote? How did I not know about this? I just missed where it was. Ah, oh, there it is. Thank goodness. Bam. Now, is there something down here? Look. 
Or is it just uh, a weird artifact of... Oh no, it's have been there. Have I? Yeah, I've already been there. Yep. Okay. It's fine. Um, well, at the moment, I'm trying... Oh, you need to go up there, don't you? Yeah, it's it's there I'm headed for, but I'm also trying to find that pot. The question mark pot that's right in front of me. Boom. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough to have emotes yet. But uh, one day, one day it will happen. Here we go. Oh, there was this guy. See you later. And gems for me. Thank you very much. Right, yes, I need... I need, I need, I need to go and find my way up that cliff. It would appear to have something to do with going back here. That would make sense. Yeah, there we are, look. Oh, yeah. Nice entrance. Go and deal with your mate now. Oh, wait. Oh! Since when did you become the physical type? And one egg. Oh, congratulations, man. Um, yeah. Can't remember what you need, like, 50 followers for that, don't you? I've got, what, 10? <laughs> But, like you say, I will get there. Just take some perseverance. And more Spyro. Uh, right, where are we? Smash to the mountain top. Ah, yes, I know what that is. We can't get that yet. But we've got everything else that we can possibly get, so that's fine. Right, just need to go to the end of the level now. And I know I could exit it here, but I'm always a bit wary of doing that because I feel like it's going to erase my progress. But it's okay, because it's only here. And... Look at that dithering. That's what you get for using an emulator like this. It doesn't happen on all these fancy schmancy emulators that have... Uh, Let's head on over to the whirly gig. Whatever they do. The HD hacks. Whirly gig! Yeah, let's do it. Um... Wow, I got that up through that pretty quickly. I thought there were more worlds than that on here, but evidently not. So I've got Icy Peak. I've just got to get all the gems on that. Same with Enchanted Towers. Same with Spooky Swamp. Same basically with Bamboo Terrace. And Bird's Base have done. Fantastic. Well, might as well have a chat to... Bird is tiny, isn't he? I didn't realise. All systems checked out A-OK. -okay. Jump aboard. I'm gonna talk to him all just out of uh, the whirly gig habit. is ready to take you far away. Just jump aboard. Alright, I will do that thing. Hop aboard. Oh wow. Yeah, you see what I mean by these guys not really being up to much. Just hop on, Spyro. The sky shall be your domain. New worlds await you. Thank you. <laughs> Sunrise Swing, Buzz's Dungeon Art, Evening Lake! Here we go. You bet I'm looking forward to Reignited. Like I've said before, many a time, if it's as good as Insane Trilogy, it's going to be ace. Bumbling, idiotic, worthless fool. I ask you to carry out one simple task, and you fail me. I should have known better than to rely on a child. But don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. Without the dragon, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. <gasps> and so will your ever so slim chance of becoming a sorceress. Now, watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. How would you like some dragon for lunch? I'll tell you after the cutscene. Oh, here we go. Rhinoch turns into a goat creature. Yes. So 
Baron of Hell. Probably Xbox, mainly because PC version doesn't seem to be coming yet. I don't own a PS4. My brother owns an Xbox One, so I'm going to get it, and we're going to play it together. Anyway, oh, I forgot the nice colours in this arena. instincts told me the sorcerers would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Thank you. get in there and fight the good fight. What do you think you are, three dog? Ow! Alright. Oh, crap. Yeah. I remember what to do. Only thing is... And again, this is very, very similar to the Ripto fight. Bam. Uh... You can see the Ripto fight if you watch my previous stream where I beat him up like a good one. I think it will be on PC. If you remember, Crash wasn't on PC straight away. It came later. But then again, it came at the same time as the Xbox one, didn't it? So, yeah, it's a bit of a puzzle, that one. Burn! Oh, no you don't. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I think he can pinch my ammo and use it for himself, which is very cheeky. Now, right, what's this now? Oh. That does not look comfortable to having your mouth. Oh, no, I need health, bird. I need health. Quick as you like. Don't you dare. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to just stand there and let me kill him. Wow, okay. Yeah, it took far too long, but it came eventually. Uh, so I guess we've just got to hold out for it. But in the meantime, Xbox it is. Now. And in... in anyway, I've got all the originals on PS1, so I can just play them again. <laughs> like I've been doing. And here we go, into Evening Lake. Which I believe has new music. Yeah, look. Look at the music. Yeah. Don't know how that one works. Listen to me, Dragon. Spyro. <gasps> this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you... Believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and Too go late. back home before... Before... I can't say it. Just go! <laughs> Nah, I think I'll pass up on that offer. Although that spank did uh, do a number on me. I've not got any health left. Need to go and find some evil frogs. Die. This music sounds like The Sims 2. It's nice, I like it. Yeah, this is music... Yeah, the chat is pretty quiet. Normally is. Uh, I don't tend to get many viewers. <laughs> um, so I just have to talk rubbish for about three hours. But it's been more productive and more lively today, so it's great. Um, I'm very appreciative of it. Yeah, I will just mention this is the Game of the Year version of the game, which has some new music tracks in it. Not many, but a few. Hello. That was very nice, thank you for that. Alright, looks like we've got another power-up quest here. Why didn't, it, why didn't that magnetise towards me? It normally does. Move! Spyro must be really teeny tiny, mustn't he? If he's the size of a frog. Hi again, Spyro. Hi there. This power-up can make you invincible, but <gasps> only for a short while. Use it to get Why is it? A, it's not a while You'll if it's short. When you get past them. Couldn't you get it? Lazy flipping fairy. Wee. Stuart, hey up. He's gonna uh, gonna find a brown sofa and start reviewing some tat, did not he? Hey, I'm allowed to refer to him now. I've uh, I've had rapport with the wonderful man. So, uh, yes, we're like best mates now, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's taking it a bit far. So, 
a slow going relationship. So anyway, here's a whale. Hello. Look. My name's Noah, honest. No, I'm not Noah. This guy is. Oh no, it's Jonah! Jonah, Noah's the guy with the ark. Where is my accent from? That's an interesting one, I will tell you about that. Um, my mother is from Manchester, my dad's from Yorkshire, so that's where it comes from. And mostly Yorkshire though, because that's where I live. Or, should I say, mostly Yorkshire, because it's uh, God's own county. Aye. And that's right. Yeah, it's a nice mix. It's, uh, it's a rather unique accent, one that my brother shares. It's a good one. Come on. Unfortunately, it does make my speech sound kind of clumsy. But, such is the way of northern accents. Okay. So, where are we going to go first, guys? What's it going to be? Got quite a few levels to pick from, one of which is the best level in the game. And that's not just my opinion. I'm pretty sure everybody else shares that opinion. Mainly because it's full of ninjas. I reckon we do Lost Fleet first because it's kind of boring. Um, also, it's got to that point where I really need a Wii again. But I must prosper and persevere. Here we go. Stooby Doo. Screech. Even dragons like a good screech. Oh, it just makes you want a pet dragon, doesn't it? Like a hunter. Uh, oh, come on. There we are. Good champagne bottle. Yeah, lost fleet. <coughs> now you do show up. Oh, what was that? It was book. I'm not sure what that was, but it was uh, good. Somebody just did something, and I can't tell what it was. But whatever it was, thank you. Because I was mighty close to finding me treasure. Yeehaw. Here we go. Crabs that you jib, which is very nice. Oh, new music. Or rather, remixed music. Yeah, it's just Sheila's theme, but with more keyboards. More Moog. Host, right, yeah. I thought I thought it might have been, but I didn't want to say it because... Um, well, because I didn't want to look like a dum-dum, but... Let's face it, that happened a long time ago. Hey, Get back here. Into the green acid with you. I don't get this, why is there so much acid here? What? In fact, what is the deal with this level? It's very strange. He didn't even try, did he? Good grief. Right, let's have some fun. This isn't quite as high tech as the cannon from Icy Peaks, unfortunately. Eh. And Kablooey and so forth. Hey! Destroy the wicker pot, which I don't need to do like that, but I did anyway. Explosive cannonballs, yes, indeed. Uh, I'll probably deal with them later. Let's gather up these gems. Mm mm. Ching ching. Right. Oh yeah, I can't charge them guys, can I? Because they are technically a large enemy. Right. What's the deal with these? What do I need these for? That, I'm guessing. What are these sheets made of that they're dressed in? Something really resilient. Nope. Yeah. Still wasn't nothing there. Okay. Mm, anything down here? Yes, indeed. There is a, a jibbable crab. It's a bit like when you shoot a drone in the head on Halo Reach. It just goes splat. Nice, isn't it? Oh, he just. Yeah, alright. You just, just walk past him. Moan, moaning a minute ago about Rhinox, if you just run past him like that, what are you moaning about? Flipping hick. And he's had time to write all these red crosses on the, um, 
on the sides of these ships, so obviously he's talking out of his ass. By the way, yeah, once again, you can't swim in the water here. Or at least not yet. Yeah. Remember that invincibility power up? Get lost. Never mess with a purple dragon. That's a uh, good advice for life, that. Well, hi there, Gigglebone Gang. What is your treasure, mate? Is it anything. Well, he's just going to leave without it. I guess he knows where it is now. Up you get, come on. Got business to attend to. Is there anything actually? No, no, there's nothing in there. Well done. Well done, Crazy Ed, you really are a nutter. Here we go, look! In Ugh. Wow, okay. <laughs> they ruined my Halo reference. Oh god, okay. It's really hard to see down here. I almost shouldn't be wasting time because this only lasts for a limited amount of time. I don't think you die instantly though by being down here. Spyro certainly learnt a lot since the first game. Right. Oh! Hey, that was good! Ha! I mean, I did that on purpose. Trust me. Not meant to happen. <coughs> if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Is there anywhere I can go from here? Or is it just like a way? Oh, ah, oh, hello there. Oh no, maybe. Oh no, I could have done that, couldn't I? Ugh. Blam, as they say. Okay, on we go. Let's try and get back up there so I can. No, I'll, I'll do that in a bit. Um, it's not vitally important right now. I should just do the rest of the level now. <sighs> I don't know if I'm getting this mixed up with Ratchet and Clank, but am I right in thinking there's like a racing minigame on this one? We can go up here. And there's birds that need destroying. For whatever reason. Oh, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Forever! <laughs> it will if I keep firing at random, that is. You see, I don't know if, how far away they need to be to be... Oh. Well, that answered that question. Oh, come on. Come on, he's right in front of me. There we are. <laughs> Why is this important? Killing vultures. Right, that guy's just flying in a circle, so I can get him pretty easily. Here we are. No, come on. Come on now. Come on. Uh, come on. Right, that's obviously too low, isn't it? But you see, it seems to be going behind the mast, so I'm not sure. Oh, no, there we go. Look. Oh, come on. Must have been close. This is probably extremely frustrating to watch, but we've done it now. Right, that's just this guy to deal with. Oh, come on. Hey, headshot. Beautiful. Oh, there's one more. Oh, I thought I would have hit him then. No, no dice. If I just keep firing at this general vicinity, I'm sure I'll just hit him eventually. Yeah, told you. Right, actually... I don't need to go through that acid lake, do I? Because I can just reach that maw from here. Huh. Can't say I'm too sold on this music. It's a bit of a cop-out. Kind of wish I'd played the original now, but, you know. It is what it is. Started now. Done it now. It's done. It's made. Finished. Come on. Oh, look, a minigame. Let's do it. Oh, wait, hang on. Can I remember what which one this is? Well, hi there. But these here waters oh, it's you again. My favorite diving spot. Uh, but I can't get any loot with these subs patrolling around. Hold on a minute. You pilot this here sub I bought for scrap. Yeah, but right. diving. 
press the X button. Diving? Diving. And when what? you get a sub in your sights, the torpedo will start to lock on. If you get a good lock on, fire away with the circle button. <sighs> diving, my friend. Diving. What are you made of exactly? I mean, I know there's an invincibility there, but I guess that must count for everybody and not just dragons. Alright. So we've got a plasma repeater here on our little submarine. Could have done with this when we were fighting that Rhinoc earlier. In fact, this is kind of reminiscent of the... Good to go back to Ratchet and Clank again. This is quite reminiscent of that the flying stages in that. Uh, you know when you're in the ship and you've got to when you go to a planet you've got to sort of shoot down all the enemies first. And you it's very difficult because you barely get any health to do so. And you can't sort of recharge your health. I've got to take this out. There we are. Hey, hey. Hey. I'm Houston. So what's what exactly is stopping you from diving down here, Crazy Ed? Because those subs weren't doing a whole lot. I question the veracity of your statements. Hey, where are you? Come back, you. Brutal Vix, how? How are you doing? That was my inner Native American coming out there. How? Right, who's next? Who's last? There was a guy in here. Yeah, there he is. I could see his trail. Chemtrails. Oh, come on. Pow! Right, last one. Where are we? Was he in here? I no, I got him, didn't I? It's obviously not through there because that's where I came in. Now oh, we need to take that out while we're here. Where is he? Or is he in there? Am I just dumb? No, that is where I came in. Yep. No! Damn it! But these here waters used to be my. Oh, I've got to start again. Crying out loud. Well, I may be biased here, but I will just say. The PS1 Sparrow games are some of the best games in existence. Hey! I recognise that sound. Was it used in something else? It's probably one of them generic sci-fi stock sounds that is used in all sorts of stuff. It'll have been in Doctor Who at some point, I imagine. I have to say, I haven't played the Game Boy Advance games of Spyro. I might have to go back and do that. With the exception of Crash Bandicoot Fusion, if that counts. But yeah, that's that was kind of naff. <laughs> I remember having it on holiday once, and it was all I had to play, so I just had to play it, and I've nearly 100%ed that. But there was one bit that I couldn't do, and it was one of them... It was a stage where you were flying around on a bat with a Wumpa Fruit Bazooka. Yeah. I also had a really hard time with the weightlifting ones, where you had to tap the A button over and over. Yeah. Bit of a ZX Spectrum sports game channel in there. Right, where was that last one? I saw him floating around. Ah, here he is. Come here, you beggar. Here we go. Kaboom! I hope there weren't any other safes that I missed. Well, I'll be darned. You got some mean sub driving skills. Why don't you have this here egg as a reward? Thank you. <laughs> Ethel. Cheers. Well, I, I hate to ask your help again, but there be even more subs that oh, darn no. come out of nowhere. If you could blast them, how do you know? I'd use this acid lake as my swimming hole again. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Darn tootin'. Get on, little dragon. Uh -huh. These goddamn rednecks. So there's seven now. Wow. Oh! What was that noise? That was, uh... 
a gem being kicked out of a safe. Except, I guess it must just be a bit of a lag. <laughs> oh, come on. It doesn't lock on unless you're in a specific position. Also, they're dropping mines for me now. That's nice. This one's from Tiny. This one's from Dingo Dale. We'll play that someday. Oh, don't you worry. We will play that someday. If you don't know what I'm on about, stay tuned. Because we'll play that someday. Don't lock onto the one that I can't see. There we go. Well done, game. Bang. Right, where's he gone there? Oh, was that him there? No, that was just something. I don't know what that was. Well, let's go hunting in the caves. <laughs> this is a bit like the early Irem game. Before they made Metal Slug, they made a game called In the Hunt, which was very like Metal Slug if you took out the on-foot sections you just had the submarines. Pretty good game. Very, very difficult, though, as is the case with uh, arcade games of that era, of course. Where's the last one? Is he in this tunnel? Ah! Hey! Come back here, you oik! Man, this sub doesn't go very fast. Hey! They all, they're all th th going through this ship, don't they? Oh, for crying out loud! Come back here! Come on, you mad! Yeah, well done. You could try firing it off while we're in the tunnel, and then you'd probably have a better chance of hitting me, wouldn't you? Ah! This is like a mundane version of chasing the egg thieves. And I've got to go around and get all the gems yet. Yeah! Oh, of course it hit the wall. Fantastic, it's like a bit in flipping tank racer! And here I am, referencing ancient old videos on my YouTube channel, which you can go and watch if you want. It's all crap like this. <laughs> right, come on. Maybe if I try this. Hey, okay. Let's get a lead on him. Eh. <sighs> oh yeah, now it won't lock on. Brilliant. If I just wait here. Come out, come out wherever you are. Or oh, has he turned round? Yeah, he's come about. Brilliant. I guess they know if you're waiting for him. Ah! Ugh. For crying in the sink. Right. I've got a chance now. And... Fire one more for good luck. Hey! About blinking time. I'll be taking that egg now. No, but is it though? I wish I could reward you better, but all I got left is this here other egg. Maybe there'll be something better in this one. <laughs> What's better than a baby dragon? Come on. Right, and now we go back in. Hey, huh, sixty-nine. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? No. Right, okay, I was just checking for gems at the start there, but there aren't any, so I'm going to go and... Oh, there's one under there, isn't there? I don't need to come out again. Oh, this is going to take ages, man. Especially if I have to keep coming back here to replenish. Yeah. Who thought this was a good idea? It's a good thing that Sparks doesn't need the uh, invincibility. There we are. Uh, ah. uh, yeah, the, I'm sure there's a racing level in this, and I'm sure it's on skateboards. But again, I might be mixing it up with Ratchet and Clank because there is a skateboard racing or oh, hoverboard racing level in that, and that's flipping nightmarish. Uh, Sparks, come on. We can't be doing with this inefficiency. We've got to, got to move. Oh God, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, I got electrocuted for some reason. 
That was a bit bizarre. Well, I'll come back to that. <laughs> Let's, uh... Man, I'm in desperate need of the toilet. But the show must go on. Skate race the Rhinox, I was right! Ha! Huh. Oh, come on. Right, well... What I'm going to do is I'm going to exit and look for some more eggs in the hub world and then I think I'll leave it for tonight. Um, because I'm getting fed up with this level. <laughs> but yeah, we will have to come back to it at a later stage. But yeah. Um, I think I'm about done for tonight. My throat is certainly done. So, have we got any hints? Probably not. On the bridge. Okay, yeah, we'll get the one on the bridge. Just thinking of where that is. Would you believe it's on a bridge? Bet you wouldn't, would you? Alright, thank you for stopping by. Uh, look at me, Lee. Oh, look at Mr. Lee, sorry. Yes, thank you very much. It was much appreciated. Um, catch you next time. Have fun streaming. Right. We'll just grab this last egg. Oh my god. I need to make it quick. Otherwise there's going to be a clean up on aisle 4. This is not what I need right now. Ah! Oof. Right, let's try that again. No, I can't go up there, can I? Because I've been up there. And across. Oh, God! Crying out loud, it's clouding my vision and judgement and all that crazy stuff. Oh, we can get in the speedway already. Huh. Oh, and there's the Enchanted Charmed Ridge Tower place. Yeah. We might do that one next time. Oh, God, where am I going? Right, come on, let's stop messing around. Let's just get this egg and finish off. It properly. Uh, and I hope it's across here now. I'm just wasting my time. Yeah, there it is. Look, this bridge that leads nowhere. Fantastic. Father Ted. Right. And I think we'll leave it there for tonight. So thank you all very much for joining me. If you stick around after the stream, you'll get to listen to some tunes. But otherwise, that's been me. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Next Sunday, 7pm. Be there. Cheerio.